morning, everybody. Uh, for those of you that are guests, uh, I'm George Acevedo. I'm one of the pastors here. And uh, uh, this, uh, this morning, we get to celebrate with uh, Matt and Sarah Hogan Camp. Uh, Matt is, uh, is a child of this church who's now six foot something and married. Uh, we did their wedding out on the beach. How, how many years ago did we do the wedding? Three years ago, three years ago, we did their wedding out on the beach, and um, uh, they live in God's country down in Kentucky, and um, uh, Sarah is still at the university, teaching there at Asbury University, the uh, school I graduated from, Matthew uh, graduated from there as well, and uh, they will give anybody a diploma, and uh, 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 Matthew and I are the poster child for that, uh, but uh, uh, God bless them with, uh, with a beautiful daughter uh, just a few weeks ago. And um, uh, their home, and this is uh, their home, and uh, on behalf of their church up in Kentucky, uh, we want to share together in the sacrament of baptism. And let me remind you that baptism is an outward and visible sign of the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, through which grace we become partakers of his righteousness and heirs of life eternal. And those receiving the sacrament are thereby marked as Christian disciples and initiated into the fellowship of Christ's holy church. Our Lord has expressly given to little children a place among the people of God which holy privilege must not be denied them. You remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, let the children come to me, do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. So Matthew and Sarah, I want to ask you these really important questions uh, right alongside your marriage vows that I was privileged to give to you. These stand alongside of them. Do you, in presenting this child for holy baptism, confess your faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Would you say we do? We do. And then do you accept as your duty and privilege to live before this child a life that becomes the gospel, to exercise all godly care that she be brought up in the Christian faith, that she be taught the Holy Scriptures, and that she learn to give the reverent attendance upon the private and public worship of God, would you say we do? And then will you endeavor to keep this child under the ministry and guidance of the church until she, by the power of God, shall accept for herself the gift of salvation and be confirmed as a full and responsible member of Christ's Holy Church, would you say we will? We will. All right. All right. Come on, Isabel. Come on, the pastor. All right. All right, over here. What name is given this child? Isabella Joy Hogan Camp. Isabella Joy, I baptize you in the name of the Father and in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit. May God bless, preserve, and keep you now all the days of your precious, precious life. Amen. Now, friends, um, uh, on behalf of the greater body of Christ, on behalf of her grandparents who call this their spiritual home, I want to invite you to join in this covenant. Let's read this together. With God's help, we will so order our lives after the example of Christ that Isabella, surrounded by steadfast love, may be established in the faith and confirmed and strengthened in the way that leads to life eternal going to ask Jen to lead us in singing the Jesus Loves You song, and so uh, I'll bring her out to you and you can meet her. Let's sing together. Jesus loves you, you should know, for the Bible tells you so, little ones to him. One more thing now. And then it's a negotiation whether I give her. <laughs> Would you place your hands on her? Grandma, grandpa, great grandma, come on over here. Let's place our hands on this child and let's pray. 
Father, we thank you for Isabella, for the gift of her precious life. That long before she was ever conceived in her mother's womb, she was conceived in your heavenly Father's heart. And thank you that there is not a moment of her precious life. That she doesn't live under your reckless love, under your amazing grace for her. And we look forward to that day, Lord. Not too many years from now. When she will stand in this place or a place just like it and declare her love and allegiance to Jesus. Bless Matthew and Sarah and the rest of the family as together with the body of Christ we seek to love this baby into a relationship with you. We pray this all in Jesus' matchless name. Everybody agreeing said. Hey, would you join me in thanking God for this precious little girl? Okay, you get her back now. <laughs> all right. Pastor West. Okay. You have to give her back, George. <laughs>